one of the following is not an eigenstate of the parity operator. Right? The wave function of a free particle in one dimension is given by psi x equal to a sin x plus b sin 3x. Then psi x is an eigenstate of which of the following operators? Welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics. In this, we'll discuss problems on parity operator. Now, in this case, just let's go through the question. One of the following is not an eigenstate of the parity operator. It was asked uh, in VHU long back, but it's a basic problem. Uh, so in this case, what we need to do is, we know that for a parity operator, it operates on a function which gives you psi of minus x. This is how it affects the wave function. All right, and the lambda, the say this gives you lambda psi x. Now this lambda, the eigenvalue is either minus one or plus one. All right. So in this case, we need to check each option and see what happens. Say option A. Just put the put x equal instead of x put say this is cos x plus x sin x now put if you operate parity operator it should give you p sorry it should give you psi 1 of minus x so let's see if you put minus x here this is cos of minus x will become or oh, let's write it down this is minus x this is sin minus x is equal to this becomes cos x this is minus x and this is minus sin x so this will become plus this sin x okay so this is this gives you psi 1 back with lambda is equal to 1 all right the eigenvalue here is plus 1 now option b psi 2 is equal to x cos x plus sin x so just apply the parity operator this will give you psi 2 minus x then just plug in minus x in each of the variables wherever x is present this is cos of minus x plus sine of minus x this gives you minus x cos x minus sine x take the minus sign inside so this will give you minus cos x plus sine x all right so this is not giving you psi 2 this is not equal to plus or minus 1 psi 2 that means this is this cannot represent a eigenstate of parity operator All right so let's check the other options option c is psi 3 x cos x plus sin x operating this on psi 3 x this is psi 3 minus x this will give you just place a minus x everywhere this is minus x plus this sign this is this will give you minus sine of minus x this minus x cos x minus sine x now take negative minus sign common we have minus bracket open x cos x plus sine x now this is you you get back psi 3 then lambda here is in this case the lambda is minus 1 now this is also a eigen a eigen function of parity operator now let's check option d psi 4 which is x cos x sin x so if you operate p psi 4 p on psi 4 
this should give you psi 4 minus x which is minus x cos of minus x multiplied by sine of minus x this is minus x cos x and there's a minus sign out here sine x is equal to x cos x sine x which is equal to psi 4 x that means we get back lambda, psi 4 again which is lambda is equal to 1 all right so in this case one can clearly see that this b option does not satisfy the eigenvalue equation in case of the parity operator with respect to the parity operator so according to the question this not eigenstate is the option b in this question this was this uh, this was question this is a question asked in just uh, long back uh, uh, that's why i didn't mention the year but it's a very good question the wave function of a free particle in one dimension is given by psi x equal to a sin x plus b sin 3x. Then psi x of an is an eigenstate of which of the following operators. Okay, so we'll handle it one by one and see what which option is correct. Now option A it says that the position operator say x cap operating on psi x, what do we get? So, position operator operating on any function just multiplies x by the x is multiplied to the whole function. This is a sine x plus b sine three x. Now, in this case, we we the we can see that this is again I am writing it again because no use of uh, like directly mentioning it. What is happening here? We are getting back the wave function, but this thing is not a it's a variable quantity not a constant so this is not a this cannot be an eigenvalue right for an eigenvalue this the if you get back the wave function the, the if you are able to separate a constant then that becomes an eigenvalue but in this case you have a variable quantity right so a position operator this means that this does not satisfy the eigenvalue equation which implies that the wave function is not an eigenstate of position operator so this option is incorrect all right now let's try option b hamiltonian operator represented by h cap operating on psi x so for in general, the Hamilton operator is given by e squared by 2m plus v of x operating on psi. Now for free particle, for free particle, the potential is 0. Vx is 0. So what we get is from this equation, we get e x squared by 2m psi x so if you operate if you p x square if you write down this is minus i h cut derivative with respect to x and a whole square operating on psi x so this gives you minus h cut square by 2m d square x square now this is a sin x plus b sine 3x so if you operate this twice so what will get we'll differentiate this you'll get once you'll differentiate you'll get cos x then again you'll differentiate let's write it down uh, instead of telling you so this is first derivative if you apply this will give you my a cos x minus sorry this is again sine right so this will be plus this b now uh, 3 will come outside so let's write it down here um, into 3 psi cos 3x now if we differentiate again what we'll get is this is this will give you minus a sin x now this one will become 
minus 9 b sin 3x which is h square by 2m this will give you a taking the minus sign inside 9b sin 3x now this is in no way same similar to the initial wave function that means we cannot write it like although this is a constant but this part does not match with psi x this is not the original wave, wave function so let's try the other option now this is also wrong incorrect so option c option c says that momentum operator operating on wave function let's see what happens i h cut derivative with respect to x um, this is a sine x plus b sine 3x so if you operate this once what do you get you get a cos x plus 3b sine sorry cos 3x that means you don't get back the initial wave function which implies that the wave function is not an given of wave function is not a eigen function of momentum operator this is also incorrect now remaining option is option d if you operate parity operator on psi x what happens is we replace x's by minus x so this is this gives you minus a sin x minus b sin 3x which is minus a sin x plus b sin 3x so we get back the original wave function here lambda is minus 1 that means the eigen function is odd under parity so this is the correct option so the given wave function is an eigen function of the parity operator with eigen value lambda equal to minus 1 thank you for watching have a great day if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends